What's going on guys, our boss Cat here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the high grade build burning Gundam from the anime, Gundam Build Fighters Try. Going into the aesthetics, and do please excuse the knobs throughout the review, as past me was atrocious at cleanup. The git has some very humanoid proportions, but the variety of curving joints and armor panels make it feel like a super robot, similarly to the Mazinga, or even the God Gundam, which is what I believe the design of this kit is based on. Some aspects of the kit I admire includes the variety of shapes used in the torso, along with this bowl-shaped abdomen, giving it this futuristic sort of vibe. These red, elongated hexagon-like structures that layer over the forearms and side skirts are a nice touch. And of course, these eye-catching, clear blue sections sprinkled around the kit, which do help to spruce up the looks of the build burning especially when sending it into a collection of Gunpla. There's a very good amount of lining and venting around the kit, like on the abdomen, arms, legs, and especially within the head. Almost real grade level. The main colours are comprised of your standard red and white, along with a yellow and a darker subdued blue that is used to break up the main colours. Stickers are very minimal, outside of your standard colour correcting stickers used in the eyes and head cameras with the main colour correcting stickers being comprised of the grey ones for the front of the feet, which don't look too bad, and these red ones for the inside of the vents on the back of the legs, with these ones in particular potentially proving to be a challenge to apply, because of how recessed they are. The build of the kit is your standard high grey Gundam affair, simple enough for beginners despite the additional layering of parts, though the body did deviate a little from the norm, as it seems to build up like a Witch from Mercury gunpla because of its simple yet effective use of parts, with a few extra poly caps this time around. Moving on to the accessories, let's first take a look at the hands, where you will get a pair of closed fists, widespread hands, karate hands, and these clear orange hands for the use with the effect parts. More on those later. Next we have the alternate clear sections, which are cast in a bright, fiery orange. Removing the armor over the clear sections and interchanging them is very intuitive due to how easily the parts come off, but they aren't loose to the point where they'll just happen to pop off while you're handling the kit, with the exception of this one bit of armor on the elbow, which can easily be blue tacked in. The clear orange sections gives this kit a burning aura, which is complemented nicely when you add the effect parts, and in terms of lore, each of the fiery segments are created with the Plavsky Particles, an energy source that is used prominently throughout the Gundam build series. The kit includes a wide variety of effects to use with it, all being cast in a brilliant clear orange, with their moulding conveying their fiery prowess. To equip the ones for the hands, which you get two of, we slide them onto the clear orange hands via these grooves. They look very dynamic when equipped, and can be further enhanced with the use of this streaming effects, which you get for small size streams, for medium size streams, and for large size streams, with four streams being able to be equipped onto an effect up a time via these slots. These make the punches even more dynamic, especially with their varying sizes, though they are quite easy to knock off, so do be careful. You also get this one stomping effect that you can equip onto either side of the feet by splitting the effect part and clamping it over a foot via the slot on the back. Now on the ground, this looks pretty silly, so an action base is recommended if you want to effectively convey the foot stomp. But once you get it onto an action base, it looks great, just like the effects for the fists. You can of course use the strings for this effect as well, and since the slots are a little more recessed, the streams seem to hold in a lot better than what the fist effects could. Here we have these curved effects pieces, which simply plug onto the backpack via a round peg. These give the build burning a regal feel with their curved nature, as well as how they protrude upwards. And if you don't like the positioning as is, you can pose them via a swivel at the backpack, and a rotation here, and here so you can curve them however you want. We also get these adapters which allow you to angle the backpack effects to the rear by rotating the bottom part of the flame down, hooking it onto the adapter, plugging it onto the back, and doing the same for the opposite side. 
The flames in this alteration look just as cool as in their regular position, though I'd imagine this form would take up a fair amount of space due to how they flail behind. You can of course move the flames down on their new adapter, though no upwards movement, and you can angle them side to side. Now as much as I'd like to tell you what the purpose of these back effects are lore wise, I wasn't able to find anything off of the Gundam wiki, so do please inform me in the comments. The last accessory we have is the backpack adapter, which when inserted lets you use backpacks with one hole, perhaps something akin to a striker pack would look pretty nice. As for action based compatibility, it is compatible with your standard round peg which fits into the crotch. Moving on to the articulation, we have a ball joint at the head and neck, allowing the head to look up this far, down this far, forwards and back, left to right, and side to side. Shoulders can hinge forwards this far on a butterfly joint in the torso, a ball joint in the torso, and one in the shoulder, along with back movement. Since the shoulder is on a ball joint, it can move omnidirectionally, as well as do the full rotation. Arm is on a hinge, letting it raise up this far, bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, which can also move back. Ball joint at the wrist, along with a hinge for each hand, with the exception of the ones cast in clear. Torso can bend forwards and back on two ball joints, side to side tilt, swivel upon the upper and lower body, front skirts can move upwards, side skirts can raise on a hinge, as well as swivel side to side, paralyzed back flap, hips can move up and down, legs can kick forwards and back, spread out this far, hindered by the side skirts, thigh swivel, double jointed knees, ankle armour is on a ball joint, though they are a little loose. Feet can raise forwards and back on a ball joint and hinge joint, feet can pivot, getting this much range on the ground, and rotate. The articulation feels very fluid because of the amount of range you can get out of the joints, and how sleek the joints feel. Even with the limited leg spread, there's tons of workarounds you can do to set your build burning into the perfect pose. My only complaint with the structural integrity that I haven't mentioned yet is the shoulders, as they pop off quite easily because of how shallow their sockets are. Same can be said for the backpack, as it slides off quite easily while handling the kit because of this funky attachment. Overall, the build burning is a pretty awesome kit, with sleek looks, complemented by its fluent articulation, while packing in a great range of accessories that feel very flexible in what you can do with them. I'm gonna have to give this kit 4.5 out of 5 tacos. It's really a must buy. Anyway, this has been the Box Cat, and I'll see you all in the next review.